Today we're gonna talk about a script for Maya called Brickit, created by WizX and based on Python. It runs on Windows, Mac OS and Linux operating systems and it allows you to build complex shapes out of Lego bricks and blocks. Brickit helps you eliminate the key problems in modeling different Lego objects and this includes the tedious creation process, the time-consuming polygon count checking and unpredictable results if aiming to create a Lego form. Brickit will give you the same impression as if you are building real Lego objects. This script comes with a library that includes ready-made Lego blocks with simple, organic and complex pieces with clean topology. It also comes with many features such as snapping, coloring and rotating, all made easy to use to give the same feeling of a Lego workflow and have the same fun. The Brickit script literally brings the Lego experience inside Maya. With just few clicks, you will build any form you want. So how actually does it work? After installing the script and copying the Python-based script on Maya's shelf, you will be able to open it from there with one click. The tool will be launched in a small floating window, which you can scale up and down, and you can do that easily or dock it to anywhere you want inside Maya's viewport. The tool comes as a window that contains 4 palettes horizontally and 14 sub-palettes vertically. You will also need to set Maya unit systems to centimeters and you will set it as default to fit the tool's bricks. You will double click on the brick you select in the Brickit window and it will snap automatically to the grid origin. It may take a few seconds to launch depending on your computer since each brick contains different information. The brick is already modeled so you don't have to do any modification. Basically it is modeled according to the Lego shapes. Each time you import a brick, it pops up in the grid origin. You will double click on the new one and it will pop up next to it, which was not the case with the previous versions. Previously you would avoid leaving the first brick in the origin since the next one will overlap with it. And the fun part is about snapping. This will give you the same feeling as if you are working with physical Lego bricks. However, users should be familiar with the basics of the object snapping in Maya, whether you are activating the snap button or pressing the V key. Each brick contains a number of options that will allow you to snap to another block. You can change the viewport up and down using the D key depending on whether you want to place the brick up or down. It may take you time to figure that out, but you get used to it from the first try or the second and you can snap them and place them easily. You'll be able to rotate the blocks freely, but you will need to snap them while holding the J key to let them fit accordingly, or you can choose relative options with 15 degrees in the rotate tool. The Brickit tool is a very fun script to work and play around with. It follows the same snapping tools as Lego in the real world. The blocks are designed in Lego shapes with a clean topology. And the tool comes with many blocks, each one having a unique shape and interesting form, such as aircraft blocks, vehicle bodies, panels, arms, wheels, you name it. Just like you may find in a Lego box. You don't need any experience in modeling or texturing, except for knowing some snapping and parenting basics, which will enhance your creativity to reach any Lego-based concept easily and quickly. Also, Brickit provides coloring and lighting that can work with Arnold's render engine and its different settings. Also with a few clicks, everything is gonna be for rendering with lighting, cameras and background. Additionally, it comes with flexi cables that you can control using the control vertex. Also flipping blocks between axes became available in the 1.4 version and up. Also some of the things you might take into consideration is that Brickit window cannot be saved, so you will have to redock it again. And bricks are not geometry and can be combined with polygons, which is not a big deal if you wanna create something that is purely Lego based. Also, there are some limitations in automation, for example, sometimes you need to snap things manually, which is not a big deal because you can do that in just few seconds. Also, in the future updates, this plugin hopefully is gonna become better and better with new bricks and features that can make it one of the best scripts for Maya in this field. If you are interested in Brickit, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.